This is an examination of the hidden human condition. This is the Hidden Killers Podcast with Tony Bruschi. So we just heard the Lori Vallow Daybell police interview after the murder of her estranged husband at the time, Charles Vallow. And then they questioned uh, Tylee Ryan, her daughter, uh, right after that. In fact, we heard the moment in that last one where they said, okay, we're going to go talk to your daughter. And they did that pretty much immediately. This is the audio of Tylee's testimony about what was going on and the questions that were asked to her. Take a listen. Hi. Hi. So you have to spell your name because we're all taking guesses on how to spell it. We're not sure. T-Y-L-E-E. Okay, I was right. And what's your last name? Ryan, R-Y-A-N. And your birthday? And then, do you have a phone? Yeah. What's your phone number? Okay. So, I know this is going to kind of sound like kind of a silly question, um, because it's super broad, um, but can you basically tell me what happened today? And you can start at whatever place makes sense for you um, to kind of start and explain. I'll probably kind of ask you questions as we go a little bit. So I woke up probably around like 7.50, I want to say, because I heard yelling from like right outside my door. And I don't even know where, but I immediately like jumped up. And I have a baseball bat because when I was living at my uncle's by myself, I just wanted something to like Mm -hmm. feel safer and I'm not old enough to get like pepper spray or anything. So I was like, okay, I'll get a baseball bat. So I have that. So your bedroom, you said that right outside your bedroom door, and I didn't go in the house, so I'm at a little bit of a disadvantage. So So what is your bedroom door open to? My bedroom door open, so the room that my uncle was staying in, the Mm -hmm. room that's kind of like the guest room, if my room's right here, that's right there. Okay. And then my um, little brother's room, and then kitchen's kind of back here, so it's like a little hallway, and then right here is kind of where everything happened. Okay. Like the big, you walk in, and then... Like big great room, kind of living room? Yeah, right now it just has mirrors up, because my mom wanted a dance room, okay. so... Yeah. Okay. Kind of unconventional, but... Hey, okay. whatever makes you happy, it's your guys' house, so... Right? So, yeah, I immediately just jumped up, and I grabbed my baseball bat, and I opened the door, and it was... My stepdad, you know, outside the doorway, and then my uncle kind of in the doorway, and then I could hear my mom behind him, and he was just screaming at both of them, like, I don't even know what he was saying, because honestly, I was just too, like, like, wired, I guess, Mm -hmm. so I told him to take a few steps back, I was like, you're too close, you need to step back, and he was like, don't tell me what to do, and I just kind of just stood there, and then my uncle kind of moved out of the way and then my mom kind of went past him and into like the big room okay. where everything happened and so I walked with them and then I... So they were them. more in the hallway. Yeah, they were at like the end of the hallway okay. basically and so my mom walked all the way around and he kind of followed them and I just kind of stood. My uncle was like right here and then my stepdad right here and then me and my mom were kind of right here and I didn't do anything with the base all that. I kind of just held it there and... He was getting really close to my mom, so I kind of stuck it out, like, between them. And they were both just yelling, and he was like, if you hit me with that baseball bat, you're going to go to jail. And I just kind of stood there with the baseball bat, and I just, I didn't really say anything. When you said they were yelling, who was yelling? My, it was mostly my stepdad. Okay. Well, he was really the only one, like, yelling. Mm -hmm. My mom was kind of, like responding Mm -hmm. but I honestly couldn't tell you what they were saying it was kind of just like all jumbled up in my head and so I just kind of stuck the baseball bat out there and then he like he just grabbed it and tried to take it so I held on to the end and then eventually I fell and he kind of took it into his hands like he was going to do something with it and that's when so when you fell he ended up with the bat yeah okay and so I fell to the ground and then my uncle kind of like I saw him take a step back so I'm my uncle I think grabbed him and kind of 
took him back so he couldn't like do anything. You saw your stepdad so like take a step take back. Take a step back because he was really close okay. to begin with, and then I kind of and so my mom said to go with JJ, and so I ran out the door, and then I kind of just stood there with my little brother. Just he was in the front seat of the car, and so I just kind of opened the door and just stood there, and like he was trying to get out, and I was like, no, we have to stay. I have to stay in, and I was like, oh, like, do you, I was, well, I told him, like, do you want to go in the Jeep, and then he was like, no, and then I realized that my car was blocked in, so I couldn't anyways, I was like, okay, like, just stay here, and then eventually my mom came out, Mm -hmm. and then we left from there. Okay. Yeah. Do you know what happened inside of the house, as your mom kind of explained it all to you? Um... I just kind of asked her, like, because I heard a noise, mm-hmm. which I know what it was now, but it sounded like, because I knew that the base when I was in there, it sounded like someone, like, took it and hit it really hard against the floor. Okay. Um, and so I was kind of like, like, I was okay, right, because that's my uncle. Mm-hmm. So I just wanted to make sure that, like, my stepdad didn't do anything to my uncle and okay. stuff. And so she was like, no, like, I was fine, like, we're just going to take JJ to school, and I was like, okay, so I just got in the car, and then we went to Burger King, because my little brother wanted breakfast, Mm -hmm. which was chicken fries Mm -hmm. for no reason. Okay, I do dinner for breakfast all the time. (laughs) Breakfast for dinner and dinner for breakfast. Mm -hmm. Um, So, to kind of back up a little bit, so you had talked about um, your stepdad, when you put the bat out, your stepdad mm. was coming towards your mom. Mm. Can you describe to me a little bit better kind of what was going on there? Like, is uh, there a reason you put the bat up? Yeah, he was walking towards mm. my mom, and I just didn't want him to do anything, so I kind of just stuck out the bat. Like, my mom was right beside me, and he was right there, so it wasn't, like, between them. Okay. It was kind of just, like, I just stuck it out to be, like, keep your distance, kind Mm -hmm. of. When you say you didn't want him to do anything, what did you think he was going to do? Hit her. Okay. Yeah, it's, for the most part, been pretty, like, mundane, but there have been a few, like, violent times with him when I was really scared that he was going to hit me or hit my mom, like, just because everything was kind of crazy. Me and him have always kind of not gotten along, Mm -hmm. like, just since I was little. And so there have been a few times that we've gotten in fights and stuff like that. And so, I don't, yeah. So I'm just kind of always scared of that. Yeah. Yeah. And then, um, so that happened, and he he grabbed the bat from you. Mm -hmm. So kind of tell me that again real quick. So I kind of stuck it out, and this is when he was like, if you hit me with that baseball bat, you're going to jail. And I didn't say anything because I'm like, okay. And he, so I'm holding it by, like, the end of the bat, like, the place where you hold it. And so he kind of took it, and I kind of, like, lunged forward and kind of lost, like, my footing. Mm -hmm. And so my mom was, like, just let go. And so, um, yeah, I kind of, like, slipped and I fell Mm -hmm. kind of on, like, my side. Okay. Yeah, and then from that, my mom said to go to the car, so I just got up and ran out the door. Okay, did you see... When you, when you fell towards your side, did you see what he did with the bat? No, I wasn't really looking okay. in that direction because from where I fell, the door was kind of more in my line of vision because I fell looking this way and the door was like right there, so I didn't look back. So he was kind of, he was at a different line of sight than what you were looking at? Yeah. Okay. And then at some point you saw him kind of take a step back? And from what you're saying, and tell me if I'm wrong or not, you you didn't necessarily see your uncle pulling back, but yeah. it seems like that may be... What it seems like he wouldn't have taken a step back okay. on his own, so okay. it's more of an assumption than anything. Okay. I didn't see him physically take him back. And does that make sense based on where your uncle was at that time? Yeah, he was behind him because he wasn't on this side with me and my mom so he was behind him okay because that's kind of just the order where everyone walked out and when so when that happened and then your mom told you to go did you see what happened with your stepdad and uncle no okay and then um once you went outside with your brother you never came back inside oh 
I went to go get my mom's purse okay. from inside so that we could have, like, her wallet and everything. But this was all happening, like I said, like, in the okay. bigger room right here. And so this is, I went through the garage door. Mm -hmm. And so the garage door is right here. And then there's, like, a little hallway. And then this is kind of where everything is. And then this is my mom's room. Okay. So when I went in, I kind of, like, just tuned everything out, ran to my mom's closet, ran back. So I didn't see anything, I didn't mm -hmm. hear anything. When did you go back in and get her purse? Um, after my mom came out. Okay. So after you heard that loud noise? Yeah. Okay. And when, so when you heard the loud noise, was your mom outside or inside? Um, I'm trying to think. I think she, like, I think she was inside when it happened and the door opened like immediately after. Okay. So very quickly after the door opened. Yeah. Okay. So it wasn't like a long period of time because I remember not like thinking about it for that long and if my mom hadn't come out immediately I would have, you know, been thinking about it for a lot longer than okay. I had. So obviously I don't know like your mom and stepdad and uncle. Right. Like you do. I don't. So... Can you tell me kind of where the three of them were at kind of emotionally and how they were behaving when all this was happening? When all this was happening or like before? When all this was happening. So when? like when you came out of your room and he took the bat from you and... Yeah, so my stepdad was like, he didn't, he was like, I don't even know how to explain it. He honestly just looked like kind of a crazy person. Okay. Like, screaming, and, like, his face was beat red. He just looked, like, really mad. I remember when he took the bat from me, I saw his face for, like, a split second, and I honestly, like, it didn't even look like him. He just looked, like, pure, like, rage. Uh -huh. Like, he was just seeing red. So, I haven't really seen him, like, all the way like that before. That's, like the craziest I've ever seen him. And then my uncle was kind of calm, like not super calm, obviously it was like a stressful situation, but he's like, I don't know, he was kind of just standing there in the doorway, kind of just being protective of my mom, but not, he wasn't yelling or really saying anything. Okay. And my mom was just kind of, he was yelling and my mom was kind of just like talking. Okay. So, yeah. Do you, but you don't remember, if you do, like, what your mom was saying at all or what, what he was mad about? No, not really. I'm sorry. Okay. It's okay. Honestly, like, I... We're, we're talking about something that probably happened over two seconds of time. So. Yeah, honestly, it feels, it feels like two seconds and 40 minutes at the same time, yeah. so... It, yeah, I don't remember what they were really saying. I just kind of heard yelling over everything. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I kind of just do that whenever things are, like, really loud. I kind of just, like, tune mm -hmm. what people are saying out because, I don't know, just yelling isn't fun, obviously, mm -hmm. for a kid to hear. And with my biological dad, I always heard him, like, screaming and stuff, so I kind of just learned how to, like, tune it out. So when you woke up to yelling um, and you had said you weren't sure what they were actually saying, did you know who was yelling when you heard the yelling? Yeah, I knew it was my stepdad. Well, at first I kind of didn't, like when you first wake up, you're kind of disoriented. And then I remembered that my stepdad was, like, coming in to take my little brother to school today. So I immediately, like, knew it was him. Mm -hmm. And then my uncle I knew was staying, so I knew that was him. And then my mom, obviously, I knew that was her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, um, so you... You stepped out of your room and you took the bat with you. Is there a reason why you took the bat with you? Honestly, I think that was kind of just, like, first instinct. Mm -hmm. Like, obviously, I didn't ever hit him with mm -hmm. the bat or anything like that. It was kind of just for, like, security, I guess, to know that I had it. I didn't do anything with it. In hindsight, I probably just shouldn't have brought it out at all because it caused more trouble. But it was kind of just first instincts, and it was right by my bed. Uh -huh. So I kind of just, like, jumped up and grabbed it. So I'm, not, I'm trying not to put, like, words in your mouth and no, stuff. No, you're good. Um, so 
was there something in particular that you were concerned about that you would have taken the bat with you? Only if he had been violent towards, like, me or my mom. Are you, I'm assuming you're talking about your stepdad? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. But it, it wasn't like, oh, I'm going to take the bat and, like, do something with it. Mm -hmm. It was kind of just, like, I need something in my hands to, like, okay. feel safer. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, so my kind of second dumb question is, and I, I don't know that there necessarily is, but I always kind of want to make sure, is is there anything that, you know, we didn't talk about or I didn't ask you about or anything that you think is important or anything that I should know? Because um, it, it's, it's, it's harder for you because you were there, mm -hmm. and so I'm asking questions about something I didn't even see. So I just want to make sure, like, I didn't miss something or anything that you think I should know about. That was pretty much it. Okay. And if you think of something, you know, in five minutes and tomorrow or whatever else, we can always talk again. It's, okay. it's totally fine. So... Um, I talked to your mom about, um, there's, we have, uh, some victim services people that work here. They're not cops. Um, they're really good at what they do. So I really want your mom to talk to them. Um, cause I think it would be good that your mom has, and you guys have some, maybe kind of some extra support if you need anything kind of right. go moving on. Mm -hmm. So, um, I'm going to, check in with your mom real quick and if, if she's good to go then I'm going to introduce one of them to you guys that way you guys can talk before I take you guys back okay, okay? sound fair yeah. okay do you have any questions for me at all no, okay good. if you do let me know okay okay this is an examination of the hidden human condition this is the hidden killers podcast with Tony Bruschi very sad. That's obviously one of the victims of Lori and Chad Daybell, who allegedly killed them. We still have to say allegedly. I think the rest of the world has made their judgments. If uh, you want to hear more about this case and follow it as we continue to break it down and give you context before the trial starts up be sure to press subscribe wherever you download podcasts you can get an ad free experience through apple podcasts right now try it for three days free as well my name's tony bruski you can follow me on twitter at tony b pod stay with us